Aloha and welcome to the Shallow Reef Exhibit. My name is Jessica and I'm a marine naturalist here at the Maui Ocean Center. Maui Ocean Center works hard to recreate an authentic and healthy Hawaiian coral reef environment. Everything you see here in the aquarium is from the Hawaiian Islands and was carefully collected by our curatorial team in Maui waters. Here at the Shallow Reef Exhibit, you can see all the different components of a Hawaiian coral reef ecosystem. At first glance, the bright and colorful reef fish are most likely to capture your attention. However, there is a very special group of animals in here that are vital to all coral reef ecosystems around the world. Beneath the surface of Hawaii's waters are creatures called corals, and they have been growing for hundreds of years. Corals are a necessary component in a coral reef ecosystem and provide the structural foundation for reefs as well as food and shelter for all of its inhabitants. Despite their rocky appearance, corals are actually classified as an animal. They're in the same taxonomic group as jellyfish and anemones called cnidaria. They have a cylindrical body shape with a radial mouth at the top. The mouth is surrounded by a ring of tentacles covered in stinging cells called pneumatocysts. Now, what I just described may not match the corals that you see in front of you. That is because the individual coral, or the coral polyp, is not able to be seen without a microscope. Instead, we are looking at large groups of polyps living together in a group called a colony. To grow big and strong, corals secrete a strong white substance called calcium carbonate that helps it adhere to the substrate or the rock underneath. Calcium carbonate, also known as limestone, builds up over time forming the entire reef. Similar to calcium found in our own bodies, the calcium carbonate coral skeleton is bright white. Many of the white sandy beaches here on Maui are actually made from crushed up coral fragments. Different species of corals create different shapes with their secretions. Some appear to encrust the rock that they grow on. Some look like large plates or fingers stretching up and out to take advantage of limited space on the reef. And some look like boulders. Stony coral polyps can actually catch and eat free floating microscopic plants and animals known as plankton using its ring of tentacles and stinging nematocysts. However, most corals can't catch enough plankton needed to survive. To make up for this, they have developed a close relationship with microscopic single-celled algae known as zoanthelae. This algae lives just underneath the animal's skin and provides food to the coral through a process called photosynthesis. Because of this, corals are typically found closer to the surface, nearer to the sun's rays for photosynthesis to occur. Surprisingly, zoanthelae not only provide the coral polyp with its food, but also with its color. Without its symbiotic algae, the coral tissue would lose its color and appear to be clear, like a thin, clear skin over its white calcium carbonate skeleton. With the increasing effect of humans on our world, we're starting to see an impact in our underwater environments and our coral reefs. Coral reefs are highly susceptible to a change in their environment. Conditions such as temperature, salinity, pH, chemical imbalances can all mean the difference between life and death for a tiny coral polyp. Corals often react to stressors by injecting their zoanthelae algae in a futile effort for self-preservation. If you've ever seen a coral appear to be completely white while you're out swimming or snorkeling, this is because the coral has expelled all of the colorful algae and is now what is called bleached. Coral bleaching is becoming a more common sight on the reefs, is heavily impacted by climate change, pollution, and overcrowding. There are a few ways to protect corals while you're enjoying Hawaii's coral reefs. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Make sure to be reef smart when swimming or snorkeling. Make sure to watch your step and avoid putting your feet down on the reef. Also take care to not accidentally kick or bump the reef while swimming. Keep rubbish out of the oceans. Remember to take all of your personal items and your trash with you when you leave the beach. Use reef safe sun protection when entering the ocean. Not all sunscreens are built the same. Remember, many sunscreens contain harmful chemicals that can stunt coral growth and make coral infertile. Look for sunscreens that are considered to be reef safe, such as zinc or titanium oxide. You can always cover up in protective sun clothing like hats, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, rash guards, and more. Refrain from feeding fish in the wild. Many shallow water reef fish are foragers. They eat algae that grows on the rocky substrate around the corals. If these algae patches aren't kept in check by herbivorous fish, they will outcompete the slow growing corals and prevent future coral settlement. Coral reefs are amazing structures and should be treated with awe and respect. Please keep in mind as you are engaging in water activities, make sure not to grab or kick the coral. With your help, we can all preserve Hawaii's coral reefs. Thank you for listening to this presentation. 
I hope you enjoy your time at the Maui Ocean Center, and I hope you have gained a greater understanding of the marine life here in Hawaii. Mahalo nui loa. Thank you.